Today we are at Apalahoochee Antique Tractor Show and Swap Meet. Let's go see what we can find. This whole table right here is all turpentine tools. That's a hack right there with a ball on it. That's worth pretty good money, but this guy, he's always pretty high on his stuff. You see, them broad axes, $75. That's a fro for splitting wood shanks. You got a bunch of neat pullers right there, and that's for pulling the tar, dried tar off the cat faces when they was in the turpentine business there. That's a pretty cool piece there. Pretty cool. Oh, and that uh, barrel I got some of got the uh, metal pipes in. Yeah, nice pipes for the yeah. handles. How you doing, young yeah. fella? There's a lot of nice antiques here at this place. A lot of cast iron cookware. This guy had a nice set a nice lot of cast iron right here they're good some good, bunch of good pieces the prices weren't extremely high but it was a little bit too high for me to make money on they were some nice pieces a lot of them were pretty clean but i didn't buy anything from this man here but they were some pretty stuff that's an old piece there with that gate mark on the on the lid really nice piece but i looked at all of it had a bunch of nice Wagner pieces here. And I turned a bunch of them over and looked at them. That's an unmarked Wagner, looks like, for 25 Dutch oven. There's another Dutch oven. It was all pretty clean. All that right there is Wagner. It was all, I think they were all $25 a piece. Every one of them, 24, 25, Wagner. Yeah, it was all pretty. I love cast iron. I like to look at it and I like to use it and I like to sell it. Cast iron sells pretty good. That right there is a nice fish fryer, fish cooker. I've had them in the past. That's a nice piece. You had a good bit of bottles. And all them ACLs, I didn't even look at them. I have so many bottles right now. It's got to be pretty good for me to buy them a real cheap one. Cheap or good. Old milk jug down there. Cross cut saws. I did check a couple of these and see what they were. These embossed ones. That was a nice old Goodyear sign right there. I didn't even ask the price of it. I should have. I should have asked the price of some of this stuff. Because some of these people were get, making pretty good deals. But I didn't. Package deal on I've done it before. Well, hey. All right. These folks out here at this tractor show, they got souped up lawnmowers loud and little tractors and many stuff. You'll hear them from time to time. And I tried to cut out most of them.
This guy had a lot of nice stuff here on this table. A lot of cast, all of it was cast iron, or 90% of it was. A lot of really, really nice stuff. I bought one little pot from him and I didn't get a good deal on it, but it was a little unique piece and I bought it. It's fun to come out to these shows like this and just look at all this antiques and rare pieces. Most of this stuff here was all priced too high to buy to resell, but there was a bunch of unique pieces. Those were nice Griswold cast iron mailboxes. Nice waffle iron. All of this stuff was in pretty good condition, looked like, but it was just too high for me to resell. But I enjoyed looking. That's pretty cool with the duck flying on the back. That's the little piece I bought. No, I don't. There's no name on it or anything. What's the best price you could do on that? What's on it? I'd put 20 bucks on it. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna yeah. buy. Can you can I leave it here and come? Do you know how old this piece is? That's a cool looking little thing, man. Yeah, that's a nice little one boy, little boy's sled, you know. How much is this frying pan? I'll take it too. 
Yeah, I've cooked me an egg in this thing until I got ready to sell it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's, it's ready to use, looks like. This thing real good. I, I season, I clean everything and season it real good. Now, that's a cast iron piece from like 1920s, and it's got the birds on it. How much is it? Let's see what I got on it. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Can't beat that for 20 bucks. I mean, it's an old piece, and it's in good shape. It's just a little bit of rusty. It was the I put some uh cleaner on and brought these birds back to green, but they pretty. You come around there and look at your signs. Do you know where that's made? I don't know where it's made. Uh, I did some work for an old man and he gave me this for part of the money. But I think it's, you know, well back in the day. Probably from around, I'd say 50s, 60s. Yeah. I, I looked this up online and they were selling for like 200 250 and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I, I just price it cheap. I got oh, little Debbie's. I've never seen the little Debbie one. That's the anniversary one too, 25th anniversary. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's the first time I've been to this place, and you know what? I've been missing out. Oh, yeah. It's been good. I've been coming I've, here about three years now. Where are you out of? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard it was pretty good. Well, that pandemic, year before last and last year, it was kind of slow, but it looks like it's going to be real good. Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want that one. Thank you, sir. Right. That's a pretty good price. I'm going to show them that one there. Yeah, it is. Well, those hogs, you see those hogs, they're going
I didn't even ask the price of none of this cast iron right here. But I come back a little while later, that whole box right there and them pieces that was outside, a guy bought it. He sold them all for a hundred dollars, all them pieces. I don't know how many pieces are there, but it's like about 15 or so. Pretty good deal. I should have asked how much he wanted for it. There was three or four Wagner in there. That was a nice blacksmith blower right there. That you, it goes on a pulley. He had a lot of neat stuff here. I didn't buy anything this first pass. I was just mainly videoing and looking. But I did come back and buy a, a, that cast iron stand from him later. When I come back, a lot of this stuff was gone. I were gone with about 20 minutes. Come back. He sold a bunch of it. Somebody's got to take care of him. Yeah. 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 Do you know where this is from? Uh, I was told it was the Lakeside Equipment. But that's unverified. I bought both of those bottles out of the barn. And I had not even cleaned them. One's from Monticello, so that would make sense because they're about 20 miles apart. Get me, get How much is it? Uh, the Monticello bottle, uh, 45 on that one. And uh, that's an unusual size, even though it's not clean. But that's about a $125 bottle. It was you know, cleaned up good. I buy and sell bottles. I just bought 20,000. Yep, you must be the bottle picker. I am, how'd you know? Well, well I've met you before and I, uh -huh. I bought many things off your site. Uh -huh. How about yep. the middle bucket? Uh, uh, your pick, 30, 30 bucks. Okay. You got some neat stuff here. Yeah, I got several bottles spread throughout that you could, if you, you do you spin your bottles? I used to. I have to sell so many. I just quit. I don't have time. If I had somebody to do it for me, I would. I got a one that had earned seven bottles at the time, but right. I, I just well, quit like doing that it. That one right there would be gorgeous if it, somebody was, took the spun it for a few days. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. How much is a jug? Oh, let me see it. Red Bell. How about that? Yeah. I don't heal. I didn't tell you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. You bought that? I'm fixing the trade on it. Hey, how much is your jug right here, Joe? $30. 
That might be pretty just sitting on the shelf. $30. I'm gonna buy it. Can you do any better on this? This guy had pretty good prices. I should have asked him some of the prices of some of this cast iron. He might have had it because it needed a lot of cleaning. I might have could have got that stuff cheap, but I didn't even ask. And a pulley right there is a nice well bucket pulley. It looks like it was in good condition. I've sold several of them over the years. And right here on these pieces, I had a hard time getting my camera to focus. For some reason, it wouldn't focus right here on these pieces. I was trying to focus. There. It was a signed piece right there, signed on the shoulder. It wouldn't focus on that or the price tag. That was a nice bowl. I should have asked the price of that bowl right there. That was a beautiful bowl. Looked like it was Crawford County. I should have asked about it. Now that I go back and look at this video, I don't know why I didn't ask about the price of it. He didn't have a price on it. But he had some pretty nice pottery here. That was a newer piece. All that right down there, I bought two of those two pieces. Should have bought three of them. I gave him 40 for that piece. That's a beautiful glaze on it, even though the handle's missing. It's pretty. That was a pretty water pitcher right there, too. That had a pretty glaze on it. Had a big chunk missing out of the lip. He had $65 on it. That's why I didn't buy it, but man, it was pretty. I, I love that old Southern pottery. Beautiful to me. Yes, sir. Cool stuff. I know. I've been running around buying stuff and need to stay here and start selling stuff. But there's some neat stuff here. Yes, there is. You know, I can't believe I missed out on this all these years. I've never been. First time. Really? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good. Another one of them loud lawnmowers was coming by right here, so I had to block out the background noise. But I did enjoy myself out here at this show. I haven't been picking in a good while at one of these antique shows like this, and it's, that's why I do what I do, because I enjoy being around antiques. I enjoy going to look. I enjoy just looking at all this stuff and being around it and buying it. It's it's so much fun to me. It was a lot of neat stuff here at this sale. And I've never been to it. I, not to this sale. I've heard about it for years and kept saying I was going to go, and I never went. But I'll be back.
Ja. Well, the video wound up being about an hour long, so I cut it in half so it wouldn't take, be so long at one time watching it. I tried to video everything at this little show. There's a lot of neat stuff there. I'll post the rest of the video in a couple of days, and you can see everything that I bought, how much I paid for it, and how much I think I can get. But if you did me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and the best thing you can do to help me out is to share the video. If you know somebody that enjoys this kind of stuff, sh send the link to them and share it with them. And until next time, I do appreciate every one of you.